I don't pride myself in being such a great cook. I mean, I can cook. Okay. Yeah, but you know, like I'm Shall amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then, if I make spaghetti for you, oh. you will love me for the rest of your life. <laughs> people welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you are seeing this face hi my name is Josephine Alagba and this is a lifestyle channel I feature chit chat talks I make pronunciation videos cooking videos entertainment videos and other amazing things on my channel so if you like watching those kind of videos then join the family give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button below turn on your notification bell so you will be the first to get notified when I upload a new video so this is the third episode of Featured and what do I do on Featured? On Featured, I show you off to the world. If you're a makeup artist, a writer, you sew anything you do. We just talk about your hustle or your hobby and then we have fun and do stuff together. So that's basically what I do on Featured. So on today's video, I have someone really beautiful. Standing close to me and you hate yourself. So, so. Okay. Introduce um, yourself, girl. Okay, I'm Andres Alagba. I have a couple of names, 500 names. But yeah, let's just, let's just leave it at that. Guys, do get gist. Just said she's Andres. <laughs> Did you hear other name? So we are like a thin thing. You know? If you get. <laughs> I have Andres with me here, and we're talking about her as a poet writer stage performer spoken word artist like, like just on, everything. Is. <laughs> so before we get to talk about her as being as all of those stuffs i'll first of all ask her some weird questions just like we do on featured so and just are you ready i'm trying to brace it <laughs> okay yeah, yeah yeah okay she's ready the first one is can you take a pig as a pet what? No, my girl, I'm not done taking care of myself. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. Okay, so no, no pigs, no, no yeah. pets. Okay. No. Are you good at accents? Because I, I, you just did something, so show us. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Which accent do you want? Anyone, just shock do us. Do you want a Nigerian accent or maybe Indian or something? Indian! You want me to do the Indian <laughs> accent? Oh my god, what is wrong with you? You could have said something earlier. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh no. Let's, let's okay. give it a dare. Thank you. I know, you. I know you're good. <laughs> <laughs> that was an Indian accent. Okay, the next question is if you were to choose one meal for the rest of your life, like choose one meal I like, eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? There has to be a in it. Okay, yes. so it's soup. Yes, a soup. I can't live without it. I can't go without eating a bun soup. Now you sound like my mom. My mom will be like, <laughs> I don't fit to without swallow. <laughs> well, basically, I think, I think, let's not even go there, but I just cannot do without a bun soup for okay. three days straight. No go work. Oh, so, soup and advice is. Moving to the next question. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your first crush? The first crush you had, like, how would you describe it? My God. Do you want to describe that? My God! <laughs> yes, that's the person that comes to my head because he looks like he had this Jesus vibe, the long hair. Jesus vibe. Yeah, <laughs> long hair, long hair, is Jesus vibe, right? Okay. Um, Brad Pitt was my first crush. I had a crush on Brad Pitt when he was like really, really thin, like super thin, like slim. Mm -hmm. You will not believe it. Yeah. So yeah, my God. Now this one before we go and talk about you, you alone. If you see on your friends' WhatsApp status. Mm -hmm. Friends that only call you when they need your help should be cut off. When you see that, how would that make you feel? I don't know. I mostly just mind my business when I see stuff like that. Because I don't know how to call people when I need just help. So I don't think it's a direct shade to me or anything. So I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I just usually just ignore it. Like, one of those things you just see and just go past. Yeah, I mind my business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, but... If for any reason you are in need of something and then that person is in a position to help, will you, will you still call that person after saying that? Um, it depends on my relationship with the person. Like, if a close friend posts something like that, I will call you when I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, but if we're not really friends, we're just all those high, high, distant, mm. 
I'm just definitely going to know that. Come on. <clears throat> no. Yeah, no go here. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, guys, I've been having lots of fun with Andres here. If at this point you've not subscribed yet, do well to subscribe, okay? Below. And give us a thumbs up if you find this video interesting and all of that. Now, let's go and talk about Andres the poet, Andres the writer, Andres the stage from whom Andres is spoken about artists, everything Andres, Andres. <laughs> <laughs> She's blushing. Up. I told you guys I should be paid for making people blush. You're not here now. And Nisha, let's you move. Me <laughs> 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 you me right. Okay, Andres, tell us how did you start? How did you get into writing? How did you become a poet? Stage performer, like you have to break it down one at a time, one by one. Okay, okay so start. <laughs> when I started writing, I was like six, eight. Um, my dad asked um, myself and my older brother to write a poem, and um, yeah, I, I I didn't know what I was doing, but I just saw myself writing, and it was rhyming, you know, just like that. I remember like some of the details. I have a cat, he has a pink hat, you know, those kinds of things, and. Um, my brother totally wrote rubbish. <laughs> oh, that was so impressed with what I had. Like, he was like, wow, where'd you learn this? And I couldn't exactly say where. So that's when I knew that I could write, but I did not follow up at all. I just had like this random, you're in class, and then the teacher is teaching and your mind is string, and then, you know, those random scribbles. Then I got to university and I met someone. Roland! Well, he was the one that pushed like all of like he basically pulled me and pulled me. You are going to write. You can do this, and yeah, that was how we got a gig at um, the radio station, and then we started doing the whole poetry thing. And then with consistency, I just saw myself. Wow, you know, yeah, you're Andres the poet, the writer. So how did you get into? um stage performing and um spoken as a spoken word artist okay but like i said with consistency and then roland still had like a couple of shows coming up he had a particular show he has sorry um sound of poetry mm. uh-huh and that i think that was my first stage sound of poetry was my first really? stage i think so yeah wow yeah they did one when we were back in school i was just at the background you know watching and i'm mm. seeing all those guys i'm like god i want to be like these people <laughs> and i didn't think that i could you know because i have stage fright i'm a very shy person oh. you know that i'm a shy person right mm, really? <laughs> you know, i mean you're <laughs> going no forget you but, but i'm actually a very shy person i am and i just you know we re rehearsals and all of that and then there was the ink porters you know open mm -hmm. mic and all of those things just groomed me so it just became so easy for me <laughs> stop <laughs> now tell us what inspires your writing well okay um i have a couple of muses i have several muses i mean it's not a particular thing it's series of events in my life things i witness mm. and then there's the one that i have no idea about like i'm just there and then i i think of myself as a conduit so there are times i just get messages i like to call them messages from the universe mm. they just come to me and i write it's not my feeling i don't feel that way i don't i've never experienced any of those things they just come to me yeah so it's weird it's a weird thing i don't know how to explain it but then well, yeah like yeah so yeah there's that <laughs> yeah okay, i'm going to ask a favor okay can you recite any of your poems <laughs> well it's not i saw you. this oh. coming <laughs> i mean it should be prepared where's your phone are you going to use your phone um there are a couple of pieces on my phone but I you think, want to do it from your head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I, do that I'm rehearsing. I present to you <laughs> Andres Alaba. Okay, so this is for an uh, upcoming show. Sound of poetry. So I'm performing this there. I, I just have bits of it in my head, so <sighs> she runs from emptiness to find refuge in anything anything long as it's something it doesn't matter so what if danger camouflages pretends to kiss safely in transparent taffeta and lipstick you 
fleeing refugee it's not your fault you this unfortunate misfortune is now a compliment for all those who see you think you dream to do you troubles flood you like to angry nothing soldiers but you are not Boko Haram so you cannot understand it you try to place your fingers on why your feet never stops even when you tire of running you're going to make me cry <laughs> <laughs> why is already tearing <laughs> Hi guys, can you see? <laughs> like my eyes are teary. Stop this, is, this is life. <laughs> this is life. Of I don't know. I don't know. How I'm going to react when I actually go for a sound of poetry and then I and I and I see you and hear you perform this. I might just run to the stage and just grab you. This is my sister. This is my sister. <laughs> I just I own you at that moment. <laughs> That was that was beautiful. I never let that finish. <laughs> Guys, okay, look at okay. my eyes. I'm tearing. My eyes are that, oh, that was so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Like, you I stop blushing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's cool. I'm a big girl. I'm, I'm used to compliment. Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course you are. <laughs> okay, okay, about this um poetry mm -hmm. um event that is coming up. Tell us what it's about. Well, Sound of Poetry is basically about promoting poetry in this side of the Niger Delta. Like, there are not so many. Let's say by also strictly can go out. Like okay. there are not so many poetry events. That's one of the goals. Um, and then this, this year is actually themed refugee. It's a very broad and vast concept. Mm. But I think we all find ourselves in there, like based on all the all of the crises going on. You know, Oh, all of it. We don't have to mention the things that are happening, but <laughs> no, we know. We know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you so, know. Yeah. So I think the theme is centered around all of these things we are trying to run away from, and it seems like we're running every day. So we just want to express that in the poetry that we are. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the date? Um, twenty first March. Oh. Well, poetry day. <laughs> Why <are> you love <laughs> What do you have to say to someone that is aspiring to be a writer or maybe a poet or even a spoken word artist? What do you have to say? First, you must aspire to inspire. Wow. I am. Wow. wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. Like I'm kidding. Thing. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, I think, no, I, I think that when you start off as a writer or if you want to be a writer, if you're like, no, no, I'm not, I can't write as good as this person or I'm not good enough to write anything. That's the wrongest thing to think because you are your own person. Just the basics is know how to write in correct English. Please don't make grammatical errors. That's the only problem. That, that, that's the only problem any writer can face. Mm -hmm. If not, express yourself the way you are. You are art. If you have a thought, if, if a thought comes to you and you're not spelling it wrong, even if you spell it wrong, it's called poetic license. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, basically just do you. Don't look at anybody as a yastic. You can look at them as an inspiration, but don't think that they are better than you. Mm. Just do you. Let your art flow. Just, just be you, right? Be courageous. <laughs> Girl, don't do that. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Angie's has said a lot, so she said, you can write, don't don't see someone as a yardstick just you can see someone as an inspiration just write the only thing you can do the only thing can, that can go wrong is for you to make grammar squares even at that there's something called poetic license so yeah just good to go just write down how you feel and then just do your thing so that is that <laughs> with that a we finally showed andrews to the world I finally showed her off. Nice and to potential meet you husbands. Should come on. <laughs> High five. Thank you, baby. I love you. Love you girl. <laughs> so, guys, Andrews and I have had lots of fun. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow Andrews on social media. I'm going to put the social media handles on the screen, okay? So you can follow and put it also in the description. So you can just follow her and, you know, just. Follow this beauty. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't know how to give this video a thumbs up, like I said. If you like it, that's the only way I know you enjoyed this video. Um, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and subscribe. I upload two videos every week and I would really love you to be a part of the next video. 
with that i'll say don't forget to laugh hard and love more oh yeah i've not been watching the videos i've made of this thing and no. it's great this great i'll see you guys in my next video no i didn't watch no no i didn't watch